So you want to make money with faceless YouTube and AI, but you have no idea where to begin. What if I told you we as beginners can make videos quite similar to this scary story channel here with over 6 million subscribers and this channel here with over a million? I want to show you this channel, which is less than a year and a half old. According to Social Blade, it's getting over a million views monthly and has over 150,000 subscribers already, making up to $5,000 per month. As we can see, this channel has posted 136 videos since its creation, which works out to about two videos per week. With a super simple beginner-friendly method I'm about to show you, you could easily create more than two videos per week in your spare time and accelerate the growth of your channel. Now before we jump in completely, let's just analyze a video from this example channel. Now don't get too scared. As we can see, the video uses an AI voiceover to tell a scary story with a slideshow of images, also probably AI generated to illustrate the story. Now you're probably asking, as did I, if this channel is using AI, is it really monetized? So I checked this first by going to isthischannelmonetized.com and having it analyze the channel. It said it was probably monetized. We can also look at the channel page and see that YouTube has enabled the super thanks feature and the channel has cleverly set up a merch store. So it's a good bet that this channel is making money. If you have no clue for your channel name, don't worry. We can go to ChatGPT for some ideas. Simply tell ChatGPT that we're making a scary story channel. I need 10 channel ideas. I'm just gonna use this one for now. I don't wanna overthink it. I know especially when you're getting started, it's easy to dwell on the details and not take action. Like when you're just getting started, the hard part is literally that, getting started. So let's just create the channel real quick already. You're gonna wanna sign into YouTube Sign into your account or create an account by following the prompts. Pretty easy so far. Now once you're signed in, click switch account, then view all channels. Next click create a channel. So now we're going to just add our channel name. Click I understand. From there, we're going to click on YouTube Studio so we can edit our channel. Next go to customization and branding. Now we can see that we need to add a picture, a banner image, and a channel description. Our handle will just be our channel name, so I'll paste that in the box. Perfect, and hit publish to save. Now that I have a channel set up, we just need to add branding, the logo, and channel banner. Today, we're gonna to be making our channel branding in Canva. Canva has a lot of AI features now, which makes it efficient and super simple for beginners to use. So go ahead and log in or sign up for free at canva.com. Hit create design, and we want to make a YouTube channel logo. It does have some example logos, but we're gonna use AI. So we'll go to Magic Media in the column here. And you can choose the style if you'd like. I'm simply gonna ask the AI to create a logo for a scary story channel. Let's see what it creates. If you'd like, you can be more specific and experiment with different prompts to, gem to generate different logos, but I'm satisfied with this one for now. Create a design. We're gonna need a banner. So YouTube banner, pick whatever template you like. I want to use this one, it doesn't really matter too much just want to get something started so we can always change it later. So I asked the AI to create a scary image for a YouTube banner, added it to my template, and then just used our channel name in the middle. Looks pretty good to me. And then just go ahead and share, download. We're ready to go back into our YouTube channel here. Hit upload, and we'll just upload our design. I'll use our channel logo for our video watermark as well. And there we go. Channel is officially created and branded. That was easier. So now for the fun part. Let's create that video. Today, we're going to be using Flicky AI. It's the easiest AI video generator to use for this type of video we'll be creating, and especially great for people with no video editing experience because it's super simple and easy to use. I'll link it down below if you wanna check it out. It's pretty cool. You can basically tell it an idea and it'll create a whole video for you. So let's go and log in. Once you're logged in, you'll want to hit new file, and that make sure you pick landscape for YouTube, then we want to start with an idea. So it'll prompt you to add that idea. We're gonna say, write a believable scary story about being home alone told from the storyteller's perspective. And if you want some more ideas, you can look at some popular videos from an example channel you want to emulate, or even just go to ChatGPT for some inspiration. But lots of these stories um, seem to be told from first person, so that's why I'm telling it to do that. And you can adjust the duration however long you want. I would suggest probably making it over eight minutes, which will help getting more ad revenue once your channel is monetized. But for purposes of this demonstration, I'll just make it a minute. And then this is where the real magic happens. 
So instead of using the stock images for our story, we want to use AI generated media. This will give us unique illustrations like the channel example. We can choose different styles. So if you want yours to be more realistic, cinematic is good. But if you want your channel to have a different type of style, go ahead and pick whatever you like. And we don't need any of these other features. So we'll just generate our full video, easy peasy, and we'll hit submit. It'll probably take a, a few minutes, especially if you have a longer video to create. All right, so our AI has generated the video. It's divided our story into different scenes with unique illustration. Sometimes it doesn't create the, the AI image, but that's okay. That'll give me the perfect opportunity to show you how to change or make an AI generated image in Flicky. So I'm just gonna click on that empty image in the scene. Instead of going to the stock library, we want to go to generate an image. We'll keep it as cinematic. I'll just type create a creepy staircase in a house and then just generate it. Looks good. And so we'll go ahead and use it. So there you have the story, we have our images, and now we wanna pick our voice. I wanna pick a little something scarier than the one that's already picked. So we'll go ahead and click on the voiceover and click on a name to, to preview it. We have a bunch of different options to choose from. Sort by male voices and so you can test a few, but I decided to go with Joe. We'll apply it to all voiceovers to make sure your voiceovers are consistent throughout the whole video. Then we can just go through and edit our video. I think the AI does a really awesome job of creating everything, but you can always adjust the images if you want. If you want to click on the music in the scene, you have a whole library of music to choose from. Just click on any element you'd like to edit and you have a menu of items you can change on the right. If there's anything you want to add, just add the layer click the scene and choose the layer you want to add. You can preview each scene by clicking on the play button on the top of the scene or hit the play button in the viewer to preview the whole video. So let's check out our video so far. It looks pretty good, but you know what? I might remove the subtitles. The example channel didn't have subtitles. All you have to do is click on voiceover and the subtitle. Then make sure to apply it to all similar layers so it's consistent. We can also go ahead and change the music. So just go to the background audio, click that. And there's a number of sound effects we can also choose from in the background audio. If you want to add that to your scene, let's see, storm. That could be pretty cool to add to give you something a little extra, make it stand out from the other videos. We'll just make sure to adjust the, the volume so it's not superimposing. And then it goes over the voiceover. Once you've gone through your whole video, just click download and start the export till it's finished right here. While we're waiting, we also need a thumbnail. So let's go back to Canva. We'll search for a YouTube thumbnail and then we'll go to Applications Magic Media again. We'll pick Landscape and let's say for our thumbnail we want a super creepy staircase and then an empty house. Let's see, okay, I like this one. I'll just make it bigger. And then if we look at our example channels, they use a lot of red or white text. I'll just add a text box, um, change the color here to red, and then to make my second line, I'll just duplicate the text box and change this one to white. Maybe change the font a bit. Looks good. Simple enough, and we're ready to download it. So let's see where we're at on our uh, video. It looks like we can just download our file, and then we'll go back to YouTube, go to Create, Upload Video. Let's select our file upload video, select file, and then select our scary story. We'll just need to add a title and a description. If you need help coming up with those, you can also use ChatGPT to help with that. And then I just have to add our thumbnail. And congratulations, we have a brand new Faceless Scary channel and have posted our very first video. Before I show you a snippet of our final product, please consider subscribing if you got value from this video. And remember, if you are consistent and continue to improve your skills, monetization will eventually come. Good luck on your journey, and here's part of the video we just created. It was a stormy night, the kind you see in horror movies, when I found myself home alone, with only shadows for company. Every creak of the old house seemed louder, every gust of wind against the windows a sinister whisper. I tried to reassure myself, reminding me it was just the storm, nothing else. But then, the power flickered and died, plunging me into darkness. My heart raced as I fumbled for my phone, its glow a small comfort. 
That's when I heard it. Footsteps upstairs, deliberate and heavy. I froze, knowing I was the only one supposed to be home. In a moment of bravery, or perhaps madness, I decided to investigate. Each step up the staircase felt like a march toward doom. The hallway was unnervingly quiet, the usual household sounds smothered by the storm. Then, a door creaked open by itself, 